Hello, my name is Dr. Chintamani Gudbole. I am a consultant gastrointestinal and colorectal surgeon. Today, I want to discuss an important topic with you, which is polyps and cancer of the colon and the rectum, its formation, progression, and various stages. Our gastrointestinal tract begins at the mouth and ends at the anus. The food that we eat first passes through the stomach, then the small intestine into the large intestine. The large intestine, also known as the colon and the rectum, is the last specialized part of our intestine. While the small intestine essentially deals with absorption of all the nutrients from the food that we eat, the colon and the rectum are responsible for absorption of salt and water from the food, which gives rise to formation of semi-solid stools. Colon and rectal cancers arise from the innermost lining of the part of the large intestine. It's important to note that all of these cancers begin as polyps, which are small growths which arise in the lining of the colon and the rectum due to uncontrolled multiplication of the cells. The problem, however, is that when these polyps are small, they do not cause any symptoms to the patient. Therefore, most of the times they are not detected. Once a polyp transforms into cancer, it does what a cancer does. So it basically invades the wall of the intestine it invades the lymph nodes, which are small glands, which drain the part of the bowel. And then the cancer cells can even spread in the blood and spread to distant organs like the liver, lung, bone or the brain. When the cancer spreads to different organs, apart from the organ of origin, they are called as metastases. The reason for this uncontrolled multiplication are various genetic mutations and about them we know quite a lot nowadays. As these polyps slowly grow in size, they transform into cancer. However, it is important to note that the timeline of transformation of a small polyp into a colorectal cancer takes a number of years. Thus, polyps and cancer of the colon and the rectum is a spectrum of the same disease process. In the pre-cancerous stage, there are only polyps and once the polyps transform into cancer, we classify them into four stages. In stage one colorectal cancer, the cancer is limited to the intestinal wall and has not spread to any of the surrounding lymph nodes or any other organs. In stage two colorectal cancer, the cancer has completely involved the intestinal wall, but yet has not spread to any other organs. In stage three colorectal cancer, the cancer has spread to the surrounding lymph nodes, which are small glands, which drain the part of the intestine. And in stage 4, the cancer has spread to other organs like liver, lung or bone. If these polyps are removed when they are small, we can prevent the formation of colorectal cancer in these patients. It is needless to say that as the stage of the cancer increases, the chances of survival and the chances of having a good outcome to whatever modality of treatment that is given to the patient go down. However, with modern multimodality treatment, which includes a combination of surgery, radiotherapy and chemotherapy, sometimes we can expect good outcomes for even advanced cancer patients. I hope this video was informative. I shall share further information on colorectal cancer in subsequent videos. Thank you.